Hey guys, welcome to another video. Uh, so in this video, just wanted to really quick show how to um, update Windows 10 to the next version uh, that's available. I noticed a lot of times that uh, Windows or Microsoft does a staggered rollout of newer releases. So if you want to get the release right away, um, this is one way to do it. So you just want to go into your internet here and uh, I'm going to search here for Windows 10 ISO. And uh, you want to select the first here from Microsoft, download the Windows 10 disk image. And what we're going to do in this case is we're going to go ahead and uh, create installation media. And you can also get the tool here, which will update as well. So I believe, they, I believe they're the same thing. So just click the download tool now. And this will give you the media creation tool. Uh, so you want to have a Ford 8. 4, 8, or anything bigger than that uh, USB stick here. So we go ahead and plug this in. And uh, you'll want to have, you know, if anything important is on there, you might want to move that off there uh, because it'll be formatted by this tool. So you'll just go ahead and open that. Hit yes. All right, and then it'll look like the setup screen. So um, if you didn't want to create a uh, a USB, you can actually just have it update from this tool, which is great. So, and I'll show you these options when they pop up. Yeah, it does just take a minute. So it'll give you the, um, you know, the good old, uh, terms of service and all that good stuff. So you hit accept here. Okay, so you have two options here. So you can upgrade this PC now. So if you just wanted to update your computer to the next version, so say for instance you have uh, the Windows 10 April update, so 1803, um, and you want to update to the October update, 1809, you can just hit this, upgrade your PC now, and what it'll do is it'll give you the same options as if you were to do a clean install. So it'll give you the option to um, upgrade without keeping anything or upgrade with keeping everything and uh, it just does everything uh, in the background and it'll be done you know, pretty, pretty shortly. If you wanna create an installation uh, media, if you wanna do a uh, clean install from say, starting your computer up from the USB, you would do it this way. And you can create a flash drive, a, DF, a DVD or an ISO file, and you sit next here. And you select your language architecture and edition. So in this case, it says use the recommended options for this PC, so I have Windows 10 Home, um, it is 64-bit, but say you wanted to create a different one, say you had a 32-bit PC, or you had a different version of Windows 10, say Windows 10 Pro, Enterprise, something like that, you can change that, and it will download the correct version. So once you have selected this, uh, just hit Next, and you'll get the option between a USB flash drive or ISO file. And it does say 8 gigs here, so uh, I don't believe it's the full eight gigs. Um, so you may be able to get away with a four gig flash drive, but don't quote me on that. Um, so USB flash drive or ISO file. So in this case, we're gonna be doing the flash drive since I have that, hit next. It's gonna give you a list of removable drives. So in this case, this is the drive that I have. It already does have the Windows 10 um, uh, on there, but we're gonna go ahead and just overwrite it just so I can show you guys how this looks. So we're gonna click next, and then it's gonna get a few things ready. And so what it does is it's going to start downloading the um, downloading the file, which will take a while. Uh, so you'll probably want to give this about five to ten minutes to actually complete. And uh, once it's done, it puts it onto the flash drive. And I'll come back and show you how that looks. And now we're back. And as you can see, uh, after you know a few minutes, uh, it's done and it's ready for you to use. So um, once you hit finish, it just deletes itself here, and you can delete the media creation tool whenever you're, uh, whenever you want it to. Um, so you can go in here, and now you can look, and it'll say ESD USB.
and so it'll have all the files for you to set up. So if you wanted to set up from here, you can, um, or if you wanted to boot from it directly, you can. So in that case, you would just um, boot your computer and whatever the uh, button is to change the boot order, uh, you would use that and uh, it'll start from the USB and you can either do a clean install or upgrade. Um, and like I said, you can upgrade from here. So if you wanted to upgrade your PC, you can just hit setup here and just follow the steps and it'll update, upgrade the computer to the newest version. And again, uh, in that other, uh, in the tool, you can upgrade directly from the tool and it'll download and it will um, update your PC from the tool. So if you don't wanna wait uh, for the staggered rollout um, that they normally do, then uh, just follow those directions and you'll be able to update to the newest version of Windows 10. Uh, thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.